This is the Zotman Curl. Much like with a regular dumbbell bicep curl, you go like this. You're familiar. However, with the Zotman Curl, we go like this, but then we add a little bit of spice onto the end. And so instead of just doing a regular bicep curl, you're bringing it up, rotating your wrists, palms down, control the descent. And so let me just do that one more time. Curl, rotate, control the descent. Reset, curl, rotate, control the descent. Reset, Con curl, rotate, control the descent. So what's happening here is when you're in this position, this turns your, forearm, your forearms on. The weight wants to drop, so you're squeezing your hand to keep it there. Meanwhile, that's your forearm activating to keep the grip going. And so when you're doing a bicep curl, it's not, the weight can't fall through your hand, right? And so you don't really have to like grip it. It can kind of just sit on your hand. However, when you're flipping it around this way, it, it's a free fall, so you gotta grip it. And when you're gripping it, the forearm engages. So the kind of neat part about the Zotman curl is that when you're doing a bicep curl, and then you flip it, now the forearms are engaged. So you kind of get a two in one. It's pretty epic. This is the Zotman curl.